Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of CATS. Contemporary Art Talk Show. C-A-T-S. C-A-T-S. Alright, this is a show where, as you know, if you've seen other episodes, we talk about contemporary art. We uh, share some of our favorite artists with you. We share some of our favorite artists. We share artists that we don't even like, but um, their work is fun talking about. So we've got four artists today uh, that we're going to be going over. Uh, let's just jump right in. The first one is called Corvette, which we thought is appropriate because we both like Corvettes. Yeah. Also, uh, reason on my mind, the um, Corvette Museum in Kentucky, the floor fell out. It did. Uh, actually, it with the sinkhole. So, now, as you guys might know, just so you don't think I'm too weird, I use a straw because I get hiccups if I drink beer out of a bottle. So I just use a little straw. Uh, so just if it, you guys see me drinking from it, you know what's going on. I get hiccups. It also has little baby teeth that get really sensitive with the uh, cold. With the cold. Beverage. So I just drink from a straw to be safe. Okay. So this so, reminds me of growing up in Kentucky. Um, you have a uh, cougar mom holding uh, Now, what is that baby. actually a guy. It kind of looks like a guy from the 1980s or maybe a guy that just kind of... Kind of like Dog the Bounty Hunter a little bit. Uh, yeah, like Dog's brother or son or nephew. Nephew. All right, you got Big Sky, you got a Corvette, you got a dog, you got a baby holding a wilted rose. An owl. Uh, meet, uh, it basically, what you see here is you can see themes. Owl of wisdom, Corvette as in race, right. the wolf as in intensity, and then also the child because he's got a heart or she's got a heart. So you've got a lot of themes going on in this one, and it's great color, great right. landscape. Baby um, has moccasins kind of on. Kind of style with fire as well. The mom has uh, Native American... Uh, feathers going on, so it's a little ensemble. I give this one four moccasins up. And like four feathers of owl. It's good. I like this one a lot. Very good. Very well painted. Very well painted. Uh, and moving forward. Also, there's a little white line that goes around her um, mom jeans, which mm -hmm. is kind of cool. Uh, also, the Corvette kind of pulls it away from the background. Uh, introduces something called overlap. Pretty interesting. Okay, moving right along, we have Liz Craft. Very well known hipster LA artist, um, pretty awesome. Now this one would be worth a lot of money. I have a feeling because I'm guessing that's sterling silver or silver. I don't know the size of it, but if you melt that puppy down, you probably got a couple thousand dollars. No, it's bronze. Oh, yeah. So this is from 2004. It's bronze. I don't know what the oh the the title is called. The Pony. All right. So we don't know what's going on. The uh, skeleton represents death, which could be the death of painting. Or the death of the dingleberries, because it could be scooping up dingleberries okay. out of that unicorn's uh, I so. tail feather, or tail. Okay, when I was in Jamaica, I had shoulder-length hair, I was on a four-day cruise, and when I got off the boat, they wanted to braid my hair. Hmm. So this kind of reminds me of that experience where death is braiding the pony's hair. <clears throat> the, yeah, and the hair coming off the pony looks a little like worms. It does kind of look like worms, maybe like this uh, silver worms. So... Moving on to the next one. So we've introduced you to two artists. Back to the other one. I give it oh. four top hats up. I like it. I give it, uh, you know, it's got the unicorn, which is kind of like a thumbs up, uh, permanent thumbs up from the unicorn with the horn. So the next one is kind of cool. I like this one because it reminds me a lot of my childhood. And in my childhood, we would play a lot of Mario Kart. And that kind of reminds me of Mario Kart's. The simplicity, but also the kind of like rainbow road feel that's out in space. Possibly Wasn't there an Atari game wrong. called Enduro? Uh, I do not know. I can't confirm can't or deny that. that. All right, something interesting about this painting, it looks like he painted it on its side and then flipped it over to a vertical position because you have drips going this way, um, which which it can't happen due to gravity. So, Well, his uh, name, the artist's name is Tal R. Two words, Tal, last name R. I feel like I'm kind of washed out here. We might have the light a little too close. Yeah, you need to lay out the sun more. Yeah, yeah you maybe get a vampire. A little more tanned. Um, I, I like this one. I can't tell if it's big wheels or motorcycles because you got either two wheels in the back or those are legs. I can't quite tell, but it leads a lot to the imagination, and I, and I enjoy that. All right. So, I don't, it's okay. I'm, I'm not as enthusiastic because I was born before Jay, and I didn't even play the game he's talking about. I don't really know what he's talking about. I'm going to give it two drips. I'm going to give it... Uh, yes, I'm gonna give it. I like this one. Uh, can we use thumbs up? Is that this kind of reminds me of Easy up. Rider when um, Easy Rider they had drugs <laughs> smuggling in their tank. So it could be a couple of Easy Riders in that mix, which adds a little excitement to it. Cool. Now, 
And this next piece we saved for last because it's one of our favorites, but also it happens to be somebody that's been on the show before, which is uh, like a double, double plus. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm kind of getting sick. Name um, is Fake Seamus. Seamus, Fake Seamus. I actually know his last name. It's Closet. Well, Seamus you guys Gilsette. learned a little bit from here. You might have seen him on our show a couple years ago. Hot tip, yep. Now this one is awesome because it's another Cars. I don't know if you guys have seen the theme here. Right. But, uh, this one's another car, and this one is probably a sweeter here's car a, than the Corvette. Here's another hot tip. Uh, Fake Seamus told me that he could draw a Lamborghini Countach with his eyes closed. Really? He's drawn so many of them. Um, I actually this, it. this proves it because it's fantastic. It's a 3D okay. rendering of a Lamborghini. Only downside about this, and probably the biggest downside of any of these pieces so far, is it's really bloody violent. That's what makes it good. It does not need to be that violent. You I know, love here, the Wu-Tang swords. I in mean, American culture, we are subjected to so much violence, it's it's sickening. We, we got it in our news. All right, we're the defenders of the world. We got it in video games. Now we got it in Arc 2. This world. is getting a little and extreme. Some blood is going to be spilled unless we use dro- drone warfare, and then there's less. Okay, uh, now spilled. this is getting... No. The problem with this one is okay, it's too so violent. Now, white, if you take away the blood, you've got a white, you've got purity. You've got a Lamborghini, which is the white sweet. You've got a knife, which is okay. Purity. It doesn't have to be meant for violent acts. It could There's be a werewolf just wearing trying. a party hat up here, which is cool. I am vegetarian, so I'm not really into the skinned um, lion skull, but in nature, lions fight each other sometimes. And uh, violence is really cool. No, it is not. You know what? This is too violent. And I actually would say, Seamus, if you were to take out the I'm blood, about to show you, you have, violence. Seamus, if you were to take... Say one more word. Seamus, if you were... Ow! What the heck, dude? Ow! Oh. Ow! All right? Oh, dude. Dude. Oh, my God, I'm bleeding. Oh. <laughs> dude, I'm totally bleeding. Oh. Why'd you hit me that hard? Dude. What the heck? Dude. I think I smelled. All right, I think that's our show. Um, it's been a good one. Thanks for watching. Uh, a little recap. We had Rita Ackerman, we had Liz Kraft, Tal R, and Fake Seamus. <laughs> Dude, stop crying.